हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंसेस लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सेवेंटी एट नाउ वॉट इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंसेस लेट सी डेफिनेशन अ कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस इज वन दैट हैज वन मेन क्लॉज एंड वन और मोर सब ऑर्डिनेट और डिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेस द सब ऑर्डिनेट क्लॉज इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द मेन क्लॉज और इट्स मीनिंग फॉर इट्स मीनिंग बोथ द क्लॉजेस हैव दे ओन फाइनाइट वर्ब और वर्ब फ्रेजेस इट मीन्स इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज देर शुड बी सब ऑर्डिनेट और डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंसेस नाउ इट सी वॉट आर द सब ऑर्डिनेट क्लॉजेस kinds of subordinate clauses first noun clauses these are the usually introduced by the following subordinating conjunctions that what which who and whom it means when you are converting the simple uh, sentence into the complex sentences then if you are using that what which who and whom in your complex sentence then this is your non another uh, another than the noun clause i will teach you that in uh, later on then adjective or a relative clauses there are the usually introduced by the following subordinate subordinating conjunctions that what which who whose whom where when and why these are the adjective clauses then adverb clauses these are usually introduced by the following subordinating conjunctions because when while where as before after until since no sooner if unless as though though although whether so that and as soon as so these are the adverb clauses now see how to form the complex sentences how you can make the simple sentence how you can change the simple sentence into the complex sentence to form a complex sentence you have to create one main clause and one or a more subordinate clause and join them with subordinators there should be one main clause and one or more than one subordinate clauses or you can join that with the subordinators example fortunately he fell on a thick pile of a hay this is your simple sentence so this sentence i have written here fortunately he fell on a thick pile of the hay when you are changing simple this sentence into the complex what are the changes will done first we will see what is the complex sentence it was a fortunate that he fell on a thick pile of a hay so in this sentence see that is using you have the main clause that is it was and then you should have more than two subordinate clause but there that is here so it is okay now to convert the simple sentences into complex sentences this can be done by the use of the subordinate clause noun adjective or adverb clauses see in a part we have seen what are the noun clauses adjective clauses and adverb clauses now we will see how to use that clauses so first example is good communication skills are very important he knows this so these are the two sentences you have to make that in a one sentence so that first of all you will start from he knows and then you have to use one subordinate clause that is that good communication skills are very important then remaining your sentence and i have told you that if you are using that see the rule of a kinds of subordinate clauses in that noun clauses what is written there that what which 
who and whom when you are using this clause then it should be it will be your noun clause so in this sentence you are using that so that is your noun clause see the second sentence the old old man had to work in a factory the factory was very dirty so your stores adjective this sentence is adjective clause when you are making this into the complex sentence then your stores subject then your sentence will start from the the old man had to work in a factory after that you have to use subordinate clause or subordinate subordinator so in this you will use or you can use which which was very dirty instead of the factory so when you are using which it comes under the adjective clause so this sentence is a in a adjective clause see the third example he worked hard he did not like it so in this you should use the adverb clauses so which adverb clauses though though he worked hard then he did not like it so though should be used here and then only you will make the changes in the sentence and so it is your adverb clause i hope you understand this you should or uh, you should by heart the uh, you should keep it in your mind the main clauses what are the noun clauses what are the adjective clauses if you will understand this then there is no any tough thing i must say in this lesson so do the practice at your home and uh, do the more exercises i hope you understand we will meet in next video thank you